Hi everybody, this is Mayor Robert Sullivan. Thanks for tuning in. This is the 24th episode of Our Brockton. And the, really the title speaks for itself. Our Brockton, our home, our community. It's my honor and privilege to have Chief Brian Ardelli here today. Chief, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. You were in the history of the City of Champions. You were the 11th Fire Chief. That's correct. And you've been 25 years on the job. That's correct. Brian, tell him, Chief, I'm sorry, Chief, uh, I've known Brian uh, Nardelli a long time, back, so yeah. Chief, tell everybody a little bit about who you are, uh, why you decided to work for the City of Brockton, and what your goals are as, as the Chief of the Fire Department. Well, Mayor, um, this is quite an honor, obviously. Um, I sat in my drill school class back in 1996, uh, cold November day, and I never thought I would be here today. I really didn't. I just, you know, I was just happy to be here. I, I, you know, I love the City of Brockton. I've been here my whole life. Never once lived outside the city. Um, I love what this department does every day. I mean, we have people in this department that go above and beyond. They care. They, they sacrifice for others. They're brave individuals. Um, I look forward to the challenges ahead. You know, the fire service has evolved into so many things, man. And uh, one of those is the technical rescue side, the hazardous material side. Um, there are so much, especially right now, there's so much construction going on in Rockton. There are other hazards that are going along with it. And we're the ones we call for. And we want to make sure that we're ready. Training is, is nonstop in the Rockton Fire Department. We want to make sure we're ready for every challenge. We have people in this department, so committed to this department. They want outside, even the Massachusetts Firefighting Academy, the private classes. Um, we provide a lot of training ourselves. But being prepared for whatever is brought to bear here in the city of Rockton. So I, I can't. I'm excited. I'm excited about the personnel. I'm excited about being able to help people in the city and, and, and working with the mayor's office and, and being able to move forward and, and bring new people. It's, it, one of the greatest things is always bringing new people into the pot. No one's ever like, oh, there's new people showing up. We love when we have a new recruit class and invigorates it. Now, you and I did a show not too long ago uh, when you were the deputy talking about the um, public safety building that's in the queue. It's fire, police, IT, and BEMA. That's right. um, What's that mean to the fire department when that comes to fruition? That is huge. Um, Station one that we will be replacing um, on the fire side was built in 1884. Um, the chief in 1927 said that we've outgrown it and we need to move on. That's when they put the concrete floors in because they had to go to motorized. So 2021 and 1927 are a big reach and we're finally getting there. And, and it's it's gonna be huge. One of the big things with us is we're separated throughout the entire city. The chief's office is up here. Um, headquarters up by the high school, um, fire prevention training in downtown, the signal division is in the, in the building next door. This is going to bring the alarm on this next door and bring all those entities together in one building. Um, talking to Bill Santos from the IT department, you know, the telephone building is knocked out from the high school to downtown. That affects all of us in our IT and our dispatching all of those different things. So all of that being under one roof, it'll be so much more um, Unified and it will also be efficient because now all those things will be brought into one building. Only certain generators, like you're only going to need one major generator, two major generators. All those different things come all under one roof. It helps the city financially as well as efficiency. Yes, yeah, for collaboration, consolidation, cost containment measures, it's a win win. It really is. Now, I remember when you were uh, leading the training with the see you running around yeah. with the recruits early in the morning. Now you're running the whole department as chief. Tell some people about your background, Chief. Uh, you have certifications that other Chiefs, previous Chiefs, don't have. And I'm not saying that to toot your own horn, but you worked hard to get those certifications. And you studied hard. Maybe just tell some of the viewers about so that. My background started after high school. I got into EMS. I worked in paramedic for many years. I worked at Boston Med Flight on the medical helicopter. Um, worked my way through, got into the fire service. I work as an instructor at the Mass Fire Academy. Um, I've actually gone through the um, Chief Fire Officer program through the UMass College. Um, of management with, in conjunction with Mass Fire Academy. I also got accredited in um, the Mass Fire Training, uh, Mass Fire Service Commission, which is really awesome because it, that shows everything you've done from the beginning to now. Why you should be in this place, whether it be fire ground operations, management, budget, all those different things. So that that sets me up in the, in the right light. I've had a, a number of experience in the emergency world all over the Commonwealth. I, you know, before taking this job, I was. I would have um, availability to teach during the week, and I'd be teaching throughout the Commonwealth and, and, and different organizations, teaching at Mass Maritime Academy, a number of different places. So I think, you know, I've, I've been able to build my resume up to a position where I think I'm, I'm, I'm ready to take on the challenge of the Rock and Fire Department and working, I'm um, holding the, the department as a whole. You know, 
Yeah, and I'm really excited about it. I want to just congratulate you. I mean, uh, as a city councilor, uh, I mean, I served with Chief Gallagher and Chief Francis and Chief Williams, and now you, Chief Nardelli. I'm really excited as the mayor uh, on where you're going to take the, the whole department, uh, Chief. Uh, really dedicated men and women that serve every single day, right? They put their lives on the line. It's so privileged and honored to have that dedicated. But it starts at the top. So you're the chief, you have wonderful deputies, and so on down the ladder. Um, talk about, um, just recently, you know, within the last year, we acquired three new vehicles. And again, that was a game changer as well. It was. Um, the fleet is always, you know, this is a busy department. 30,000 runs a year. These trucks get in and out of the station all day. I'm surprised this one hasn't moved yet, to be quite honest with you. Um, but, but we, were, we acquired um, three new engines. This is one of them right here in front of us. This is actually one that we got through the brand, engine company five on the west side. Um, the other two, though, when you were on the city council, you made a commitment to us to make sure you were going to get us two more engines on top of that. And that was a game changer for the city, simply because now we have a brand new one at Cary Hill. They haven't had a new engine in a long time. We have one over on the east side on Crescent Street. Incredible vehicle. These these piece of apparatus were built now to Wisconsin by PS Manufacturing. State of the art. Um, they're not the engines I started on, that's for sure. But I'll tell you something, they, they're they're pretty incredible. So the commitment by the city yourself to be able to get us into this position um, really, really tells us that you know the city the fire department means something to the city. They they understand our high devotion. And so we had a we had a meeting this morning in my office and you talked about an initiative that you're driving try to get homegrown Brockton boys and girls, you know, Brocktonian City of Champion Pride, Boxer Strong on the force. Yes. You have something coming up that you uh, you came and I support it wholeheartedly. We just you know so the civil service will we go through to perform the engines exam every year. Um, what we're looking to do next month, a date will come out soon, um, that um, what we plan on doing is having a career fair for the fire department. I want kids from Brockton High School Cardinal Spell in Southeastern, um, the alternative program, um, and the new high shot, all of them to come out. And I want to give them the information so they can see what the fire service is all about. We need new really young bodies that want to be fire service. They don't want to just, it's, this isn't a job. This is this is truly common, and we need the people that want that. If we can go and show them around, let them, let them look at our stuff, and give them the information to sign up for that exam that will be coming up um, this October, that's a game changer. It really us, is. That is city jobs and city kids, yeah. and that's what we want. That's so what I want. want. I, that's how that, that was me. That was me. I, I was a resident of City Park my whole life, and that's how I got in here to begin with back in 1996. So well, I mean, it just shows how the chief's going to run, right? He's thinking outside the box, thinking about Brockton, trying to add to the base by getting some new recruits here as well. It's a game changer. It's something I support wholeheartedly. Uh, it's going to be open up to all the schools that the chief just mentioned. So, chief, I just want to thank you for your friendship and your dedication to the city of Brockton. I really look forward to working with you. Thank you, man. Congratulations, chief. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, you. thank you. I want to thank you for watching uh, again the, the most recent episode of Our Brockton. Again, it's been my honor and privilege to have Chief Brian Adeli. We're here at the West Side. Uh, we'll be back for the next 25, 25th episode of Our Brockton. Be well. Stay safe. Thank you. And.